I was in my living room. And I was in prayer and I was pacing the floor. Some of y'all heard some of this testimony. As I'm pacing the floor, all of a sudden I begin to see that I thought I was pacing the floor, but my spirit was aware of Jesus and I was following him because I begin to see him walking in front of me. And as I was watching him walk in front of me, I saw his backside and I went to desire for him to turn and face me. But he wouldn't turn. He would just keep walking. And he would keep walking. Now, if you ever move in the realms of the spirit, I explained to you all the time how communication not like here. It's not like, hey, Jesus, turn around. You speak with your heart to the Lord. And I'm, my heart is saying, Jesus, turn around. I want to see you. I'm walking. Turn. He won't turn. I did this several times. He wouldn't turn. Finally, he stops. He stops and I stop. And as I stop, I notice he allowed me to walk into him. He said, you want to see me. And he said, you followed me closely. He said, you've done well, son. You followed me closely. And you've walked after me closely. But now you're into a season where I desire you to walk in me. Can I talk to somebody? I desire you. He let me walk into him. And he said, now you will walk in me. And when he did that, I fell on the floor and he was still standing on his feet. And I looked up and he had a scepter in his hand. And he said, from now on, you shall see the nations. And he put the scepter in my hand, the scepter of the nations. I didn't even know it was in the Bible. But hold fast what you have till I come. And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. He shall rule them with a rod of iron they shall be dashed to pieces like the potter's vessels that's not everybody's assignment it's a designated assignment it's an assignment that the lord has given uh, this house amen